Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, I have uh, updates, and we're going to talk about canoes, and we're going to talk about the uh, Kershaw, and just all kinds of good stuff here on uh, today's particular episode. Uh, what we got going on, uh, first things first, I guess we'll work on our mystery knife a little bit, which is this... Uh, Schrade old timer. Uh, like we said, this was uh, made in 05, and the reason I got it was this little mystery blade that we were looking for. And the two most popular answers that I got for what is this blade exactly for was either it's a uh, electrician's knife used for stripping uh, cables or it is a uh, grafting knife used in uh, gardening or, you know, whatever to uh, graft plants to each other. Well, we have a name for this particular blade. And this, according to the literature I found, is a locking insulation stripper blade. Now the only thing I have to find out is exactly how to use it and what cable it was used to strip. I'm thinking it was... Romex cable, which I don't have any, but if I can get a hold of some, or if I can actually find somebody uh, using it. But kind of what I was led to believe is with this notch part here, using this as a guide, you would use it and slice through the uh, jacket uh, that way to uh, use this particular blade. So that's all the information I have for now. The the mystery will be completely solved once I can finally get this thing to work as it's intended because that's what I'm dying to know is not only how did it work, but does it work well? Uh, because there's all kinds of wire strippers and wire stripping stuff that's kind of, you know, crazy out there. But uh, one of the things that this knife did, and of course here's the uh, main blade, sorry for hitting the camera there. Uh, main blade is this Hawkbill uh, blade, which has uh, got Schrade Tough on it. Uh, this uh, was a transition knife built in uh, 05 when Taylor Brands first took over. And here's a little uh, thing on there saying when it was built in uh, 2005. But uh, basically, it kind of sparked an interest in these kind of knives. And my very first one I had was this uh, Exolite uh, model, which is the uh, K22, which if you can see on there, sorry about the glare, it says K22 on the blade, which is what Exolite branded this as, and it was made for them by uh, Camillus. Uh, you can still get the Exolite uh, K22 knives. I don't know who makes them now, but this comes with the regular uh, TL29 uh, locking screwdriver slash, you know, uh, stripping or scraping blade. And that's, uh, and it's got the little half moon here at the bottom, which is, uh, good for, uh, getting insulation off also. Uh, anyways, I decided I wanted to get some more of these and my wife being the, uh, kind and wonderful person she is, uh, saw this online and picked it up for me. She knows I like old timer knives. This is another version of the TL-29, but this one, as you can tell, is kind of made with the, uh, kind of like the old timer, uh, type Delrin. I have another old timer here, so you can see it's kind of the same, uh, Delrin type, uh, pattern with the saw cut blade and the dark brown and the lighter brown or cream color. I kind of like how this old timer is, because like I said, I really like this shield for a work knife. And I like that they just did the uh, brown Delrin all the way uh, without having the uh, the light spot on there. But that just comes down to personal taste and everything. Uh, so this also has the uh, Hawkbill blade. Uh, no other markings on the uh, knife blade itself. And then it has your locking screwdriver blade. So again, uh, a very good uh, knife, kind of a mashup of this one is, you know, putting this blade uh, with this guy's screwdriver instead of having the uh, the insulation blade on there. But, uh, and the screwdriver locks, of course. But yeah, these are just, these are really cool uh, work knives. And so this is a modern 
version again. This is uh, one of the made in China ones, not very expensive, but uh, it was very cool. And I thank her very much for picking that up for me. But as you can see here, I've been kind of increasing my canoe collection slowly but surely. Uh, so I just figured, yeah, we kind of go through all the canoes. It seems like I'm getting more of them and I decided that, you know, now it's a good time to, to share. Uh, I've had this one on the channel before. This is the uh, Rough Rider from the uh, Blue Mule uh, series. And just a really excellent uh, work knife. You get a great big uh, spear point blade here. And then you get a uh, smaller uh, pen knife, but still, you know, pretty substantial, you know, little blade. It's, uh, and this is, this is a great work knife. And the, the Blue Mule series is, uh, I think the least expensive line that Rough Rider carries. And so that, that's, you know, really a good one to pick up if you need a work knife or even a different pattern. Uh, this was the first canoe that I got from Rough Rider and this was in their, uh, Titanium series. And I really liked the uh, the blacked out uh, coated blades. I thought that was a cool touch. And like I said, this bone was a lot darker and it's kind of grayed out into a really beautiful uh, color that I didn't even anticipate that that was gonna happen. But that's made it one of my favorite uh, knives, again, with the, uh, the smaller pin blade. And see, this one's not as wide as the uh, one that's on the uh, Blue Mule. But uh, yeah, the way the bone is aged on this, is, is really pretty and very attractive. So I would say, you know, if somebody wants to pick one up as they age, they, they just become more beautiful over time. Uh, my son got me this as a uh, Father's Day gift, and it is a little buck uh, canoe. And so this one's pretty stiff because it's still pretty, pretty new. Uh, but yeah, this is another uh, good solid little little knife uh, no half stops on this one and it's uh, one of their made in china productions but of course you get your pen blade and that's uh, pretty much there's you know it's got the nice uh, wood uh, laminate that uh, buck does so well and uh, this one's uh, it's actually very very pretty and another handy example of the uh, canoe uh, next we have a marbles. I recently picked this up and this is the ram horn. And I picked it up because I saw on uh, Tobias's channel, he had a knife that had the uh, ram horn. And I was uh, curious about that and it looked really pretty. And so I decided to try that out. This again has your pen blade, uh, no half stops on this one either. Really soft pull on this knife, but canoes are not known and it does have the frosted blade, but canoes are not known for having like a really hard pull. But this I'd say is the weakest of all of them. I mean, there's little snap. It's very, very easy to go in. Uh, another knife that I just recently picked up though, was this Rough Rider in their Classic Carbon II series. And I know I've seen other ones, other people have done reviews of them, but nobody's shown the canoe. And I really liked it with the slant bolsters and this uh, blue liner that they have it's just really super nice and you don't see very many knives you know with uh, the blue liners and and stuff on it also but it has the uh the black uh, micarta this has the uh the carbon uh blades these are the uh, t10 carbon and just an absolute uh beautiful beautiful knife and I have taken this guy out to uh, to work uh, before, and it performed uh, perfectly. It did everything I asked it to do, and it did it well. You know, again, not super strong pulls, uh, but this one's stronger definitely than that uh, that marble that goes into the half stop kind of sluggish too. I might just need to clean that channel out. And of course, here is my uh, case canoe in the uh, peach seed amber jig bone. I absolutely love this canoe because I, I just love how they did the bone on here. Just look at that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how Case does it, but they definitely do it right. And I love this one because it has the uh, etch on it of the uh, Native American 
in a canoe. I think that that is just absolutely awesome. And uh, again, it has the uh, pen blade and that's a decent pen blade that it has as well. Uh, absolutely love this knife because it's just so beautiful. But then another knife I picked up that going along with the beauty part is this uh, queen, uh, the new queen from Rough Rider. This is the saw cut bone uh, pattern. And I mean, look how thin that is. I mean, let's compare it to like, say this uh, carbon one, the carbon classic two, you can see it's just a little bit thinner. This makes it an absolutely great uh, pocket carry. Beautiful, beautiful blade. It's got the queen stamp on the uh, on the tang, and I am really uh, liking this new queen series. I know a lot of people are saying it's not the same as the old queen and all this other stuff, but look at that blade shape on that pen blade. That is a very nice one. I, I just think that these are just absolutely a bargain for the money. Look at that bone. That is just perfect on both sides. You know, I just, I really like it. Uh, I think they're doing a great job on these. And that was what this little one was. If you remember right around Easter time, I had picked this one up and this is the uh, Black Lip Pearl. Uh, and this is also from uh, Queen City. Uh, just a beautiful, dandy little fifth pocket knife. Just very small, very compact. Uh, but just a absolute perfect uh, church carry or any place you want to go where, you know, maybe you're going to use a knife, but you're going to be somewhere where it's a little classy. This will definitely class up your uh, your act right there. So this is a beautiful knife. Well worth the, uh, the money. It's a little more expensive uh, than these guys. It's about five dollars more. And of course, it's a smaller knife, but it's just uh, it's really pretty. And sometimes it's worth it to pay for that beauty. That brings us to the Kershaw, the Highball XL. I don't really have a full review of this uh, knife to give you guys. It's been all over the internet, but I wanted to let you know, hey, guess what? We're, we're close enough. We're at 249 subscribers. And I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. It's, it's a Friday. Let's go ahead and throw this out. So we're gonna go ahead and start the uh, giveaway. So all you have to do to give away or to, you know, the rules for this giveaway, it's uh, very simple. Uh, I am gonna do the random comment picker. All that you have to do to enter is just leave a, uh, a comment uh, below uh, and that will enter you in the giveaway. I am gonna open this up for uh, domestic and international the only thing that I ask if you are international is make sure uh, to look at the Highball XL uh, specifications. It's not assisted opening, so it, it shouldn't, you know, it's not a, not a flipper, it's not automatic. Uh, you can just flick it open, which I can't, but maybe somebody else can. <laughs> uh, you know, but I will open it up to international as well. All I ask is that you guys check your local laws and everything you know what those are better than me. And if uh, you think it's gonna get seized by customs or something, then you know let's not, uh, let's not do that because once I send it off, uh, once it hits your, your country's uh, borders and it goes through customs, I have no control over it. And I'd hate to give a knife to you know some uh, customs agent somewhere because uh, I'm sure that they would say, oh, hey, this one just got lost. Uh, you know, <laughs> sorry for all you custom agents out there, but I don't trust uh, much of the government. <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, those are my opinions and my opinions only. Uh, I don't want to offend any custom agents that may be a subscriber. But uh, yeah, if you guys uh, know that the uh, that your laws don't permit you to have a knife like that, then, uh, you know, let's not take a chance and, and send it there. But uh you know, good luck to everybody. Uh, just some of the uh, provenance on that knife, which uh, if anything, I probably have decreased the value because uh, I won this knife from uh, JB at Big Red EDC. And so uh, then it came to me 
and I thought that this was a, a beautiful knife. It's a it's a perfect knife for a giveaway for my first giveaway for the channel when I got to 250 subscribers, and I hope that one of you guys will appreciate the fact that it went through through his hands to my hands and then to yours. You know, and and we'll uh, go ahead and commence the giveaway. We'll end uh, the giveaway. We'll be we'll say the end of it will be next Friday. And so we'll uh, go ahead and uh, on the uh, 23rd of July is going to be next Friday. I will go ahead and close the uh, giveaway in the in the comments at that time, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and select a, a winner with the uh, random comment uh, generator. And that's uh, pretty much all for this one. I hope you enjoyed uh, touring my canoes getting a little bit extra knowledge on our mystery blade and uh, looking at my newest uh, TL-29 to add to the collection. So I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Good luck to all the entrants and uh, have a good weekend. We'll talk to you later.